Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to install WhatsApp on a PC. Okay guys, so to install WhatsApp or any other apps on a PC, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a third party bit of software. It's called Bluestacks. I've already got it installed here, but if you need the links for it, open up a web browser, go into Google, type 123MyIT, and then hit enter, and then click on 123MyIT, your complete IT help portal link. Okay, go to the downloads link across the top of the page. And under downloads there, you'll have the links for Bluestacks. You'll have one link for Windows, and one uh, link for Mac. There's also a link there, so you can actually download. So download and install it, okay? And then when you start up Bluestacks, okay, I've already got the WhatsApp uh, Messenger installed. So what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll remove that, and um, then I'll show you how to install it and how to set it up. Okay, so what we need to do to remove the app, we can go down to the Cogs button here, click on Manage Application, Uninstall Apps. Okay, and we want to delete the WhatsApp app. Okay, go done. If you wish to apply these settings. All right, so let's go back. All right, you can see that the WhatsApp app is now gone. So what we'll do, if you want to search and install it, click on the search icon, type in WhatsApp, comes up pretty quickly. It does a search. WhatsApp Messenger, install. I'll install it from the Android. Install it from Android, Google Play. Okay, so we want to accept. Now you need a Google um, account, obviously, to install it. So what we'll do is you, once you've got your Google account set up, go in and click on install and click accept all right we want to open it agree and continue all right so you're going to have to put in the country that you're in first so click on there it's easier to do a search so I'm going to put in Australia and I'll just grab my phone number here all right click OK all right, it's going to verify the phone number click OK again waiting to automatically detect SMS okay so I've received the SMS on my phone which is fine but uh, I think what we have to do here is actually wait for it to uh, time out um, or wait for it to verify. Okay, so we've moved to the, the next part here. So eventually your SMS verification will fail. Um, let, it, let it go to this step. It actually takes about four or five minutes for it to fail. Okay, there's a timer that goes across the top. Um, so let it fail and then you can actually have it called um, or if you get the SMS you could probably just type in the SMS here. Let's try it. Alright, so that's worked. Okay, and now we've got our profile there. We can just uh, click on next. All right, we get one year of service, and then 99 cents per year after that. Why we don't sell ads? So they don't have any ads on on this service. Okay, so we we'll hit continue. All right. So the first thing you probably need to do once you're logged in is actually go in, and uh, you can see it's one one friend already online. Uh, but if you wanted to add in a friend, what you can do. Just click on here 
and you can add friends from Facebook or Twitter. This button down here is like your back button. Okay, so if you ever need to skip back uh, a couple of pages within the app, you can click on this one. Uh, this one here is your menu button. Okay, so you can start a new chat, have a new group, which is like you know, start a chat with more than one person. Uh, bro broadcast, so you can broadcast to all your contacts. Um, this is a contacts menu where you have all your contacts from your phone. Because this is on a PC, obviously I don't have all my contacts on the phone, but you can add those in. Um, this is your settings button here and your status. So we'll just go through these. So new chat, you can see that the, it's already me. I'm already available there. Um, new group. Okay, so you can type a group and then, and then start an actual group. So let's say... One, two, three, I, I, T, and next. And then you can add in all your contacts. So I've got one, and then I've done. Okay, so you've got your new group there. All right, so if we go back, oh, too far. Uh, new broadcast, that's simply the same. You can broadcast. So it'll only go to contacts that are actually added already to WhatsApp and that they have WhatsApp um, and that you have added them to your number already. Contacts, now normally you'd have loads of contacts in here. You can have your contacts as favourites in this menu here. Contacts menu, call log, so this is like when you've tried to call people and this is obviously your, your phone, so your voicemail and things there. Alright, let's go back again. Let's have a look at your settings. Okay, settings. We've got your help about contacts profile, account settings, chat settings, notifications, so you can change all your um, push notifications and things in these ones here. Your status, hi there, I'm using WhatsApp, so this is what other people can see. Okay, so pretty straightforward, then you've got the cog, your settings icon over here. Alrighty, and this is kind of more for the functional level of the apps in general. Alright, so let's go in and see if we can get a chat happening here. Okay, so I've gone in myself and I'm going to send myself a message. Okay, and it's come up on my other phone here, which you can't see. That's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll send some other chats back. Okay, so I've sent it now. This is from a completely different phone. You can see that it's popped up here. Um, but there's other things you can do as well. So you can like take a photo. So let's just take a photo of of my screen here. All right, and I'm gonna send that through. All right, it's gone through. You can see the photos. Photos come up there of our screen that we're looking at. Okay, you can also do uh, video as well. You can do audio. So if we do audio, it's going to record what we're saying today. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And we're going to send it. We should get a little audio part come up there. Okay, so I can play that through. All right, you can uh, share contacts. And also, you can, there's a pretty cool feature as well where you can share location. Um, so if I wanted to share my location, all right, I could say I'm at the bus stop. So pretty cool features um, with the WhatsApp. Um, what I did notice, I've been using it for a couple of days now, and uh, what I did notice is actually quite a few people already have this app on their phone. Um, so like yesterday I was going uh, to play a game of um, squash and uh, was 
running a little bit late and I actually was able to say, you know, oh, I'm running late, blah, blah, blah. And then I was able to actually put in my location of how far away I was. So it was uh, kind of cool in that respect. Um, so the idea behind the WhatsApp is um, all your phones, uh, all your phone calls um, go through the carrier. So you'll still pay for those. They'll still come out of your out of your um, your cap or, or your monthly monthly bill for how, you know for for phone calls. Um, but the uh, things like SMSs and these videos and things like that should come out of your data, which means that um, essentially it might be seen as free, but you probably still pay for data at some stage. Um, if you've got free Wi-Fi, however, um, then that would be free sending all these things. So the reason why it's so popular is that um, people who are in different countries um, can keep in touch with each other quite easily um, and you know not have to um, pay like a really massive bill um, unless they actually call the person directly in which case it'll just be their carrier rates whoever they're with and if you wanted to send messages or uh, video from the WhatsApp app on your PC you can click on uh, the paper clip and you can attach video take a photo gallery audio location contact all right, guys, so that's pretty much it. That's how to install it and set it up on the uh, PC. Um, please leave some feedback and uh, share and a thumbs up on the video if it was helpful. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.